Since 2009, the remote wilds of Exmoor in southwest England have become part of a special annual event. Accountable for blistered feet, tortured muscles, and laboured breath. It's mid September in the pre dawn dark of Exford, a village in the heart of Exmoor, and the start of the Exmoor 3030 endurance race. Participating, Molly the dog can vouch for the early hour. Staffed by volunteers, the purpose is to raise money for the Royal British Legion, providing help and welfare to the serving and ex-service community and their families. Teams of participants come from all walks of life, servicemen and civilians, locals who live on the moor, and first-time visitors, with some even from Europe. The event is run by a group of former soldiers who remain taciturn about their contribution and involvement. The well-being of those taking part is of vital importance. The event doctor does final checks aboard an ambulance. Everything ship-shape, it's time to set off. In one of the toughest endurance events in the UK, 30 pounds of weight is required to be carried per person over 30 miles or for some, a gentler 30 kilometres. For safety's sake, each participant is tracked by GPS via a tracker device. So you can see them coming around over the stream and instead of going directly up to the checkpoint, they've gone off all the way down to the southeast. Quite humorous to see where they've been. <laughs> There are checkpoints along the route, and for the teams it's always a race against time. Medics are close at hand at key points along the route. Where are they now, Rob? They're just heading up. Rob, a paramedic, is a former commander. <laughs> At the water crossing point, which is probably a major point where injuries might occur. Should have took the iPhone out of my bag. It's <laughs> <Get> back. <laughs> What's supposed to happen? Waterproof socks, okay, but unless they go to your balls. We're in the 4x4 vehicle, which is. Uh, We've got all our kit in here for emergency uh, care. Obviously, uh, we've got another vehicle as well, which is a fully kitted ambulance, and uh, they're linked in to us via radio and via text messaging, so they can call us or we can call them uh, to link up anywhere on the moor. After the euphoria of crossing the finishing line, Participants are each awarded a medal by Theresa Greener on behalf of the Royal British Legion. Finishes can be tight. I'm head of events for the Royal British Legion and four years ago Henry Gordon Clark came to us with the idea of the Exmoor 3030 for four military charities and the Legion very much embraced the idea and so I came down to Exmoor in the first year when it was very much less sophisticated an event than it is now um, and thankfully after a fairly short time Henry was persuaded that the Royal British Legion was the only charity to support and so then it's been very much a, a Legion event but really Henry and his team do all the work we just come down to offer our congratulations and thanks. When partners are on separate teams it can add extra spice to competition. 
This is my second year doing the actual 3030 and this year I took my team around the 30 kilometre route so slightly easier on the legs than the 30 miler. Vince is our oldest, 53, and he is a a Scottish Italian and then we have a, a Spaniard as well and then the rest of us are all are from the UK. The winning team has made it back in 8 hours 45 minutes. The last aches across the finish in just under 13. A massage is craved by many a shattered body. For some, this can mean a further ordeal. Worst moments are relived. The, the worst bit is the tab out of this village, actually. You're just literally two miles up the hill. And then it's just, once you're on the field, it is it's beautiful when you're doing it. But yeah, that tab and the tab up out of Withypool is hard as well. When you go tabbing, um, it's a very fast walk and the, the, Marit, the paratroopers will always refer to a fast walk as a tab and the marines refer to a fast walk as a yomp but I'm married to an ex-para, hence I always tend to find myself using the word tab. <laughs> A cup of tea can revitalise even the grumpy. Like a fool, I said yes, I'll get a team, and uh, we've got most of the guys on our team are stag hands or stag hunters. A couple of guys are, are local to Barnstable, but um, just wanted to try and do our bit for, for North Devon, I suppose, for, um, for Exford. So, but uh, I shan't be doing it again. Why not? I just, uh, that pain was too much for the last three miles. I like my bicycle, I like my horse, but I don't like inflicting that much pain on myself for the last three miles. It was excruciating. It's 30 miles with 30 pound of kit on your back and you're looking for entries for next year. <laughs> with a bit of training, do you think you'll be available? Hey, listen now, I got Here on holiday, an RAF veteran has donated £12 to a day that raises over £20,000 for the Royal British Legion. We've managed to do it in 10, 10 hours 58 minutes, which is our aim was to get under 11 hours this year, which is our fastest time ever. Um, as for everything else, I really couldn't care right now. But uh, yeah, glad to be here. As for next year, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a medal. We got a medal, yeah. <laughs> <Again. laughs> Can I have a look at it? <laughs> One to actually others. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not your last? Never say never. The course doesn't get any easier. We've done a good time today, we were well pleased, but uh, the weather held off. But. Uh, it's the same aches and pains as every year, but uh, ultimately it's a great, great event. We, we, we love coming out. We'll be down here again next year. We just love it coming in. It's time now to just relax. Very well. The day concludes with a communal evening meal for all concerned. And of course, there are the awards. Okay, the trophy prize for the fastest time on the day, over 30 miles, in a time of 8 hours and 48 minutes, Denston College. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one for you. <laughs>